everybody. I'm Denisa Yonica from Brussels, living and working in Belgium and in Nemi in, in Brussels. Uh, I'm working for the, um, one of the prestigious institutions of the European Union, the European uh, Research Council. I'm very happy and very grateful and honored to speak to you, to share my experience with you. And I would like to, to give my deepest gratitude and thanks to Patrici, our Guruji Patrici sir, and uh, Patri madam. Also to the PSSM Global uh, who introduced me and who involved me in so many activities and uh, definitely to the whole PSSM family that it became my family as well. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. So all this experience I'm telling in the context of Mahila Jihana Maha Chakrana. This is female consciousness that came and is coming more and more into the world. How it evolved my experience? What is, what can I tell you about my journey? Actually, my spiritual journey started very, very early when I was three years old. When I realized, and not myself, but my parents, my grandparents realized that I could already read. Nobody taught me. They just thought that uh, maybe from the neighboring uh, children, uh, or elder children taught me how to read, but I knew already. And actually, all my childhood and even later on, I knew things that other people, and I perceived things that other people didn't. I was not aware of that at that moment. I was never aware since my late 40s, when I realized that actually I was on a spiritual journey. I was raised and educated in a very traditional, classical, Christian, orthodox um, family. I was somehow set for having this kind of life with a good education, getting married, get, get, get going to the university, getting a good diploma, being a prestigious citizen. And uh, it was somehow, my road was somehow planned. My road was, was, and my life was somehow set from the beginning, my parents, from my parents, my teachers, my educators, the church. Uh, however, it never happened that way. Never happened the way it has been planned. The way my parents and myself, I thought myself, I planned it this way. In my life came so many, so many challenges. I experienced whatever you may imagine, difficulties, failures, all sorts of failures at absolutely any level. And now looking back, I remember and I realize that actually I was on a spiritual journey. I was meant to have all these experiences for my growth, for my understanding, to have a deeper understanding of the others, to have a deeper understanding of the experience and what is life about? What are other people feelings? What are other people experiencing? I felt them. I was very much in the emotional field of myself and of the others. I sense things so easily that, but it was very difficult for me to realize that. I was just considered as being a hypersensitive person. I was just considered to be a very slow learner at school. 
my parents were very disappointed. The school teachers were very disappointed of me because they had lots of expectations. Later on, I realized and they, I've been diagnosed as being uh, dyslexic. I did my best. I learned. I worked so hard to be at the same level of the, uh, the others. But at that time, I wasn't. I was a thorough learner, a slow learner, but a thorough learner. And my parents were very disappointed because teachers were saying, oh, just don't have too many expectations. She will never go to the university. She will never manage to go if so that far because she's not that smart. It was nothing about being smart. I was such a thorough, um, I had such a thorough understanding of things around that normal people did not perceive it the, in the same way. However, later on, I managed to have like two university degrees. Miracle? No, I don't think so. I'm not. They considered that I was not smart, but I had the light inside of me. I had the God. I had the divine. I was always connected to the divine. But now I realize because there was a lot of suffering. There was a lot of failures. There was a lot of struggling until I realized that those were my teachers. That was my, they were my lessons. I learned incredibly much, not from the books, I learned from the books as well because I always loved reading. I was always very extremely curious and I love reading, but I learned about life and I learned about the, the deepest, to understand at the deepest level through the divine that was in me, that I was connected to the divine. And so when my journey started, I was totally unconscious of what is happening to me. I thought that that's life, whether it's coming and then coming and then all, all, all sorts of experiences that it never, never, ever came the way I, I planned. But it went the way the universe planned it for me. And that was my path. A couple of years ago, uh, more precisely, not a couple, but I would say more than 12 years ago, I got very sick, very, very sick. And I did not know, there was no cure for me. I could not find a cure. I, nothing helped, seemed to help. And at a certain point, somebody suggested me to try meditation. I didn't, I could hardly know what meditation was. It was just something that I've heard, that I've learned vaguely that is happening. It's an ancient, ancient uh, tradition or practice somewhere far away in, in Asia, but I didn't know much more about it. So I tried to learn meditation. I tried to meditate. It didn't really work. I didn't really get into the meditation. Then uh, I started learning meditation from Tibetan monks. I contacted Tibetan monks. I went to uh, to, 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 to different um, uh, temples to learn meditation and to practice. It didn't really help me in the beginning. I was not really much in, but I realized that actually I was looking for a master. And I looked for a master for about three, four years. I met several spiritual masters from different cultures, different orientations, different religions. But it was not the religion that interested me. It was the core the pure spirituality, the pure message from the divine that I was looking for. And that message and those teachings, I could not find in any 
any of the masters. I found something and I learned something a little bit there, a little bit there. And then I got more and more into the meditation. I learned how to practice meditation and I sit in meditation. I sat for hours. It was very difficult in the beginning. But then little by little, I got into it. And with the guidance of different masters, with different monks, I learned more and more. Still, there was something missing. I was looking for a real master. I was looking for the master. But that was some kind of voice inside that was telling me. Well, with the years, I got cured. Meditation helped me to cure from that disease. Everyone was just astonished. People did not believe really. They said, what was the medication that you got? Where were the doctors? What was the, uh, you went maybe to, to get some silence in the mountains because I used to, to go to, to have retreats in the mountains to, I, I was, uh, I tried fasting. I, I raw food and I turned into vegetarian. And um, they thought that that was my cure, but well, it helped. Everything helped. I turned into being a vegetarian, a pure vegetarian. I used to fast and, uh, at least three times a year. Meditation, it became my lifestyle. Meditation, it is. it became little by little, in, I integrated in my life. Morning meditation, evening meditation, sometimes, even when I got very busy at work, there were some problems, some tensions in the, in the work environment. When I needed really to be concentrated, when I needed inspiration, I sat in meditation and I got connected to the divine. And that was the fabulous thing that inspiration came, creativity came, everything came. But most of all, my cure came. I got cured of that disease that completely, completely disappeared. And not only that, that it disappeared and I got myself healed. I started evolving, moving on on my spiritual path, moving higher and higher, learning new things, new techniques later on. Having seen so much suffering and so much struggle around me in my, at my working place, in my environment, people like being in such a spiral, not living their lives, not stopping for one moment, not even during their night's sleep. People got so stressed. People got so much involved in, 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 the, in the professional life. And in that rush, permanent rush, they did not have time to stop for a moment, reflect or meditate. And then I thought that maybe I could help in a way. I got myself healed. I know a lot of things. I know how to guide a meditation. I know how to how to support people. I was willing to do it. I felt like I had that drive to go towards people, at least to try to, pro to propose them. Listen, why don't you try meditation? Why don't you try to turn into vegetarian? Why don't you try to, to sit and have my guidance? And maybe it may help. So I started more and more to propose first, to my colleagues, then friends, people around, neighbors. I start talking to everybody. People were just staring at me. Yeah, what is she talking about? And what is about this meditation? Yes, I've heard something about it, but it, it has something to do with some Buddhism or... Uh, no, no, no. I said, no, let's demystify it. Let's turn into practice. And let me explain you what is about, just very shortly, but it's not even about explaining. 
you don't maybe you don't need to know that much try it out sit there look at your breath observe your breath breath meditation your divine breath stay with your breath with your natural flow with your beautiful flow of the breath it's your best friend it's your life companion it's your life force energy and it seemed that people well just maybe at first curious they wanted a little bit and more and more to learn so in this way i attracted more and more people however i felt that there was something missing inside of me i missed myself myself i missed a guide myself i need the master so eventually last year in 2019 i went for business to malaysia to kuala lumpur and i was there for about 10 days and i was thinking that yeah why why should i i felt like like meditating in a group and i was looking for a group to meditate and then uh, i googled and i found a couple of addresses i sent a couple of mails and only one person answered to me that was pyramid meditation malaysia and master lechmanan who became himself and his family my friends invited me to meditate with them introduced me to pyramid meditation i did not know strangely i was always from my childhood i was fascinated by the pyramids by the pyramid itself by the energy of the pyramid i was always fascinated by vegetarianism so they introduced me himself uh, master uh, lechmanan and his uh, wife uh, lovely lovely people invited me to meditate with them with the tea with the group invited me in their own pyramid in their garden to meditate there also at the center and i was fascinated i was wow i was like i would like to, to to go on i would like to learn more i would like to know more and he said well yeah you should meet and really you should come back you should go to to india maybe with us for a special event and you should meet our master uh, our guruji patrici and he gave me mega magazines with spiritual science and i read, read them through and one year passed we kept in touch and then he said well let us go maybe i should also i go to india you will have the opportunity to, to will introduce you to to patrici sir to uh, our guruji and finally it was very strange because it was not planned i did not plan anything i i had to go to malaysia but for again for business but i did not plan to to go to india and it just came like that well nothing happens i'm deeply convinced that nothing happens by accident so and they insisted that i should go and i said okay okay i'll buy a ticket i'll fly from kuala lumpur to hyderabad and i'll go there and there it was i went to hyderabad i met patrici uh it was absolutely fascinating because i had this the opportunity and the honor the privilege to travel with him and with the team with his team for 3 days so we moved from place to place i was assisting him i was there when he was delivering speeches when he he well uh, all the activities that he has done i was there next to him and he pushed me to talk to people he pushed me to deliver to talk about my journey to speak about myself uh, my experience i did not expect that at all and i realized that i finally found my master and that was maybe the most fabulous experience of my whole life 
spending the three days. Well, and also I meditated in that. I, you my my apologies, but I don't remember the name of that big pyramid uh, very close to Hyderabad. Uh, I went there to visit the spot, the place around, and I had a very very nice and useful guides, and I had the privilege to meditate inside and also in the. Uh, the, the, the king's chamber, I think it's it, it has been called. It's called like that. It was fascinating, and um, ever since I got in touch with the two daughters of of, of Patrici and uh, and Patrici mom, Parinita and we Pari from from the US. Uh, I'm constantly in, in in touch with all the masters uh, all across Europe. Uh, in Malaysia, Singapore, uh, all the Europeans and from Germany. Why don't you spread meditation in Belgium or in, the, in France, in the French-speaking countries? And I said, yeah, why not? I would love to, I would love to, but I would like to have this setting to somehow to how shall I approach and what shall I say and what type of meditation and um, well I ever since I follow lots of trainings of the Pyramid Valley, Valley um, masters and uh, uh, all the all, all sorts of trainings all sorts of seminars I follow I learn a lot and uh, since April, I spread meditation in Belgium, France, Romania. These are actually the languages I would like to first now nowadays is in English, I, I give um, meditation classes in English, but little by little, I will also start doing it in in French because many French people don't, do not, uh, they would, definitely they would like to have the meditations in French. So I must say that I found my master. I found a purpose, my purpose, to spread meditation, to inspire people, to spread wisdom, to transform, to help people transform. And, um, I found I, 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 I found my place and my family, which is PSSM. Well, during my journey, uh, I was inspired by uh, many books. I read lots of spiritual books. But if I had to mention one, the one that I really, it's still next to my bed, for many years, it's been there. It's like a Bible. And that book is The 40 Rules of Love. Of um, Strangely, it's been written by a woman. And that's not anything uh, strange, but uh, it had to be written by a woman because we are in the female consciousness. And uh, this lady is uh, Elif Shafak. She's Turkish. Uh, she lives, I think, in the in in the UK or in the US. And that book talks about the spiritual journey of the greatest mystical uh, mentor and um, master poet, uh, Rumi. It is an absolutely fabulous book talking about ten rules of divine love and what is love about i would really recommend that book and that's that was actually the book that inspired me most so to tell you a little bit more about my daily activities i give meditation classes for pssm on on behalf of the pssm uh, four times a week I have my groups, I spread meditation, I spread wisdom, I take um, subjects, lots of subjects that I develop. And um, 
people are really grateful. Myself, I'm very grateful to, to have this opportunity because I can help people. I can transform people. I can help them with their health issues and I can help them transform and evolve, grow on their spiritual path. That's my mission. Myself, I feel that I would not, I, I can't imagine a day without meditation. I get really overwhelmed and it's sometimes there are tensions, sometimes it's, it's a lot of work. I sit and I meditate. I get inspiration. I get inspired. I get empowered. I connect to the divine. I connect to the universe. And that's my biggest joy, to bring the divine into the 3D reality. To bring the wisdom, the universal wisdom, to bring it to the normal life. To spread myself, my love, love that is surrounding me, my energy, because I healed myself. I raise my energy, I uplift myself. I live in such a beautiful state of being that is an absolute, it's absolutely obvious that people feel great around me and I spread that love to people. I spread that energy. I spread also my knowledge, all the knowledge, everything what I learn from Patrici, from all the PSSM masters, from other masters, from doctors, from all the speakers that I follow. Every single day I learn something. Every single day I follow sessions. I follow, uh, I, uh, for example, I, I just love Shreyan's Daga's sessions, seminars. They're absolutely fabulous. I contacted him and I learned a lot from his wisdom and all the sessions that he's giving and uh, all the books that he's suggesting. I keep learning on one hand. I keep practicing, experiencing myself. On and on the other hand, I give it away. I share it. Actually, I'm not giving. I'm spreading it. I share. Actually, I share that with my family. I share it with my colleagues. I share it in every environment, everywhere where I go, I share. So how do I feel before the meditation and after the meditation? I think I'm all the time feeling good. Because sometimes, yeah, that's true. We get imbalanced. We get, or maybe a little bit sick, or a little bit now with the pandemics. There is so much energy of fear and anxiety around that is taking us down. But with everything that I'm spreading, the meditation, vegetarianism, I try to impact this energy. I try to do this. I have, and I realize that I have more and more impact on people. People living in these huge cities, especially in this capital of Europe, people are, have different mindsets. They are more in this 3D reality. They are rational. It's still somehow of a little bit of taboo we don't speak too much spirituality because that's for uh, let them be for the spiritual people for people in the churches people in the uh, oh, regardless the religion let them be for them they are dedicated to that but we are people here making laws we are making policies we support europe that's true it's a lot of work and they have that mindset to being rational, to creating value for this society. However, I strongly believe that combining 
spirituality, wisdom, opening to the wisdom of the universe, being connected to the divine, bringing the divine inside. Actually, we have the divine inside, but we are very often, we are disconnected. Sitting in meditation and opening yourself to the unified field, that field of infinite possibilities, we can make what they call miracles. But for us spiritual people, we don't call them miracles. That's the divine inside. That's the divine up there. That's the unified field. We are all one. And when we feel during meditation, very often after the meditation, people tell me, I felt absolutely fabulous. I felt that I'm all, all in one and one in all. They reach that wonderful oneness because we live in oneness. We are one. We are all connected. And the technologies, now we can observe that through the technology, how much connected we are, how easy it is me in Brussels to get connected to people in India and in the US and in Singapore or Malaysia or wherever around the world, how easy it is and how much the, in the technologies they teach us and they want to give us the lesson that we are all connected. We all live in the same field. And this is what we should also learn from there. So dear friends, I would talk for hours and for hours to give you more, to tell you more about myself. But I think the essential thing was here and I would resume it in a couple of words. During the past 12 years, I realized that I'm really on a spiritual path, that I grew and I evolved at an incredible high level. I see the world from a different perspective. I meditate every single day and not only for myself. I raise my, my vibration. I raise my wisdom. I expand my consciousness. And not only that, I spread it around. I sustain, support and help people. And I found my master, which is Patrici. I found my family, which is PSSM. And one last thing, I promise Patrici to write a book. I'm on my way. It takes some time because I have to busy moments my days are too 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 busy and uh, i can already reveal the name the title of the book is three days with the master thank you very much i hope i could one day connect with you and sustain support spread once again and many times my wisdom, my experience, my life experience, my spiritual experience, and uh, help, support, and give you some of my wisdom. Thank you so much. Namaste.